<laughs> now, now I gotta clarify, it was green. It looked like it was held together with hockey tape. Oh man, so when we when we get together, things happen. It's just gonna happen. I mean, stuff is gonna happen, guaranteed every single time. So this this one time, you know, we're together just doing what we do, and John hands me a, a firecracker. I don't know, what do you call it a frog? Uh, yeah, that was called a frog. Okay. They're, they're, it's coming out of like somewhere Southeast Asia, something. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I gotta clarify, it was green, it looked like it was held together with hockey tape. Imagine like the little football that you used to play when you were with your friends. Yeah. Folded up paper, then wrapped with like a really tight twine. And then like a cannon fuse just coming out cannon of it. Cannon fuse coming right out of it. Okay, John. At seven o'clock in the morning. Here, Phil, this is the crack of dawn. One, if you ever want to make 4,000 people hate you, seven o'clock in the morning after a night when you know everybody within a, about a half, three quarter mile radius mm. has all been drinking until two, three in the morning? Well, some of us were. <laughs> some of us were. But it, but at O Dark 30. As I recall, it was pouring down rain and we were holding down a pop up tent we to were... keep from being blown a fucking way. <laughs> and uh, yeah. yeah, and it was. Four or thirty or five o'clock yeah. in the morning, we had to leave on a eleven and a half hour race at yeah. six o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Game on. I thought that was a really good time. Very apropos. I think so. <laughs> and I'm gonna say that I never made so many enemies in my life. You know, I woke right the fuck up. <laughs> I woke right the fuck up. I'm like, goddamn. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. like a low yield nuclear device going off. <laughs> I don't think you knew what you had in your I had hands. no idea. Dude. <laughs> no idea. I lit that thing and I threw it like it was like 75 cents. I didn't know it was like $73 worth of boom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I uh, think people are still hearing that. <laughs> my brother was a UPS driver and this is this is it ties in because he ties into every kind of uh, nefarious kind of ordinance that you can Absolutely. get. Absolutely. When it comes 4th of July, the UPS man's got a direct line yes, on he does. everybody who's building their own homemade firecrackers. <laughs> he knows who's got their own yeah. machine gun. Yeah. He knows everybody because he's delivering all this like... Cordite. Oh, look what we have here, ammonium nitrate. Oh, you, you <laughs> wanted a claymore? Here's your ammonium nitrate. <laughs> what do you got going on here? Wink, wink, yeah, nudge, nudge. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you know this, but if you'd like to get some of these like... Well, there's Anfo available. We can... <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I yeah. know you're a UPS guy. I'm not kidding Since you guys. Since you're making the rounds. When this thing went off, <laughs> trees yeah. shook, birds launched. It was insane. And the thing is, I've never seen a mushroom cloud outside of a nuclear explosion, but this stupid thing, this thing I could hold in my hand, so, made an actual mushroom cloud. Things that I'm afraid to light off, I give to Phil. Fair game. <laughs> yep. And that's how we woke up that year. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mo Stories with Unky Phil. We're so glad you checked in. <laughs> A, you get auto check, just triple check. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time. All right, well, welcome to. No, uh, not yet. All right. <laughs> I was just checking audio. You're good. And here we go. John Story, take one. <laughs>